Yeah. Sorry, I'm do off. we have a, like a crash or something at the end of our session and we're reversed? No, we no. just. Uh, no, I had, to, had to eat. Remember? Uh, no, I don't. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, I, I take your word for it. <laughs> My memory is vague. I was, I was probably a little bit sleepy and uh, I possibly had a, a, a few drinks of whiskey at that point. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I'm good to pause already. Yeah, I'm just taking a. Quick I'm a responsible assess. world leader. Ah, it's the sweep away. I was taking a quick assessment of uh, where I'm at. I can peace out Spain whenever I want. Um, I am going to, while it's paused, redo the peace treaty since it. Uh, yeah, I have to. It it resets because it's a new save. I want to make sure that I take everything from them. Um, and there was something Tibet wa Tibet wanted the Falklands, of course. Yes, but I've lost the Falklands, so I need to go back okay. and take it back since they've gone rebel. Oh right, and uh, I think I also just took unrestricted coring distance. Yeah, so you'll be able to reach that. I'm trying to remember what else I wanted from Spain, and uh, I suddenly don't. I also want those. Indiana. Yeah, I just wanted, like, I think Southern Floridian. Oh, yeah, uh, that was the other thing. Yeah, because I had clicked on lands deep in Spanish Louisiana rather than Florida. And, uh... Well, in order to take more of Florida, you'd have to siege it. Roll note. Oh, I mean, Florida, the... Oh, it's Louisiana's Florida, whatever. Um, it doesn't... If you're able to give me uh, two, uh, like ten total provinces, five in uh, Spanish Louisiana and five in Florida, um, I would be able to form two colonial Let me nations. See here, I should be able to do that. Um, I'll fix the border gourd I made in the process. Three. I'll see if I can't give it by n neat zones, of course. Oh, that's occupied by me. Is I, I, I'd need to have this paused anyway with doing this, so I may as well do it now. Yeah, it makes sense. Before we uh, start proper. And boot. And then. that should i do more i feel like i should do more yeah let's do more this is so awesome and set like a million troops almost yeah the ottomans are full wild yeah all right uh i'm just going to send a picture real quick just to see if that looks good to you Obviously, I'm taking all of the islands, I'm getting the Philippines off of them. Yeah, and, that uh, looks completely is... fine. Yeah, I, I did it by nice, nice, neat zones. Yeah, I'm not doing, I'm not ending the war yet. Uh, of course. Okay, okay. That's just I'm just getting the plans ready. Yeah, just setting up the peace treaty, so that way yeah, I know excellent. what I can work with. Uh, that Tang Florida you're, you're talking about? That is going to be Japan. Okay. No, I don't think Tang's that makes more planning sense. on moving into North America. Nope. Well, I see Tang has occupied um, Galapagos Islands. Yeah, that's so. part of... I guess... That's not part of a uh, zone, is it? Let me double check. It's part of Lima. Uh... Yeah, the, the Galapagos don't become yeah. part of a colonial nation. Huh, that's odd. Mm. I wonder who should take the Galapagos then. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Tibet wants the Galapagos. Well, Tibet could use a couple of far-flung islands, basically, because my fleet okay. friggin' suffers of attrition when it's far away from home. I had the Galapagos in. Ah, 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 ah. Yeah, we should also get the uh, Peru. Definitely. Uh, 
Well, you know, the, the idea is nice, but let's focus on other things for now. Yeah, I still plan to, like, uh, as soon as this war is over, basically I'm going to Dau, Dau France. Oh. Um, because I've been preparing for that, but I'm definitely up for, um, for fighting Russia. Uh, I vastly outnumber France, and they have Cologne, Friesland, and Provence, all basically shit nations compared to us, so I sh war shouldn't be too difficult. You know, that's a thought. I could thicken up Dutch Brazil a little bit, too. At least have them take the, uh... Oh. Air, take the, uh, Amazon so they have a better coastline. Yeah, that would be perfectly fine. Uh, since it's Tibet and Khmer sieging those, they'll have to siege the, uh, Delta, the Amazon Delta. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm, I'm moving in towards that area right now. And then cede it to Dutch Brazil, I guess? Yeah, sure. And I can right, add. I don't we forgot I have my forces over there in Brazil. Wow. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm busy looking at my troops. Yeah, you forgot you were going to Brazil. Yes. True. Brazil sneaks up on people like that. Alright, I think at one point I wanted Sicily, but that's going to be too much if I'm adding in Brazil, so I'll just take Sardinia. Um. I don't know if I'll be able to take any zones. Yeah, a lot of actual Spain would be too expensive if I add in Brazil. More gold age years. I'll take the island at least, and then. Oh, apparently I landed like uh, sixty thousand troops in Africa. Um... Yeah, I think you wanted to help with uh, the stuff there at one point, and I said yeah. that was good. Looks like it. I have a 30,000 garrison there, that's really about it. And the people settling. I'm still colonizing and it's 1767. <laughs> but, alright, I am all ready to go. Ah, if everyone else is. Doop. I've set up the peace treaty, I'm clipping away basically any island they have, they'll be stuck back on the mainland. Um, I'm clipping away some of the southern Spanish zone. Uh, oh, did you just take your people off, Daft? Um, out of Africa, yeah. Apart from one, one thousand troops, will siege, siege yeah. down. Oh my! Okay, those Spanish are walking away. I assume you've got this. <laughs> hey! Did I... Oh. Okay. Yeah, I totally got this. Um, never mind the fact there was many, many more Portuguese there than I thought. Oh. I thought it was just rebels. No, I'm also fighting the Portuguese on the mainland. Uh... I, I'm having to spool... Basically spool myself up again. <laughs> To what I was doing. Okay, I can, uh, I'm going to deploy you back to South Africa then. I was going to go back to Charlie. Yeah, I just had 60,000 have the can pants kicked off of them, but since I have territories over there, it's fine. Uh, nothing says fun like converting the Spanish to Confucian. <laughs> and the Scottish. Excuse me, why? Oh, point. Yeah, a, a single thousand, sure. I'm like, why is there going to be a battle there? Island of Man is now Confucian, as it has always been. <laughs> Confused, maybe. Confusionism. It's so annoying. Florida keeps getting revolts. Like, stop it. Manage Over your troops. Manage your timelines. 
Ah. Um, so we're not at war with Dutch Brazil, so I'm not sure where to send my troops now. Oh, well, um, there's a Portuguese army gathering in uh, Cumana. Uh, sorry, you guys are not actually at war with Brazil or Portugal. Yeah. Well, no, it's Portugal Castilian is with Brazil, you. Sorry, it's Castilian Brazil. Pa sorry, I looked and saw the light green and assumed Portugal ah. because, of course, I did. By the way, ah. I'm just double checking. I've the because... things, by the way. Do you want me to transfer those occupations to Dutch Brazil? Yes, please. Okay. And uh, as soon as you take the other islands can probably piece out of this. Okay. Uh, Daft, you'll have to transfer some stuff to Dutch Brazil as well. Um... Okay. Uh, uh, just... Yeah. Up there by the Amazon Delta. Um... Dutch Brazil, you say? Okay, there we go. How far are you going to go? Is this going to are be you... far enough? What I've done? Why, why does Dutch Brazil not want this land? Well, what? maybe it needs to have its capital liberated first. Maybe. It wants two of the territories. Well, it, it can doesn't... take some of it. We'll see what they want. We'll see what they want. When I'm half tempted to force them onto like, well, no, that that wouldn't work because would it? What are you hoping? No, for? they're they're a colony of Holland, not a colony of Japan. So they'd just sit there in uh, Ang's hands if I gave them to them. In fact, since they're ceded to Dutch Brazil and Angst is not a direct owner of Dutch Brazil, I don't even think we can take them out of their hands anymore. Which is interesting. I said they need 70 more percent. It's 81 when uh, I get the annexed, so... Um... Do I want to take more? I certainly could. Take like Navarra and give it to Leon or something. Also, I like how Carib controls uh, a little area separating North and South America. Yeah, they migrated pretty far too. I'm just trying to see uh, what we can do for the Spanish war. But yeah, all all we need is to bet is to siege. Yes, your, uh, which I can't do when we're paused. Yes, <laughs> I'm just saying that's yes, the yes. only thing left. Twenty eight percent. It's not oh, I meant, the proper fort yet. I meant the uh, Falklands. Oh, oh! I need to I need to resiege the Falklands. Yeah. Oh, I, got, I just got a six six five. H twenty eight six liter. Jesus. Oh. Well, um, since I'm not at war with Portugal. <laughs> I'm uh, bringing my troops home. Oh god, um, that's their capital, isn't it? Uh, that is. Oh, I don't yeah, think I'm going to... 23k Castilian Brazilian revolutionaries? No, the Spanish capital, which will oh. lower our uh, tick war score by like 12. I may just have to take the island and sell it to you later. Alright. That'll be fine. I can actually do that. So that is what I will do. Uh, no one humongously cares if I do that, so... 
Why not? Bye, Spain. And uh, enjoy a more <laughs> Cambodia East Indies now has now extended its name and separated itself from Cambodian Maluka's. Um, did I? Walkmans. Did you give me some territory? Because apparently I got aggressive expansion, but I can't see. You. Uh, you wanted the rest of the Philippines. Yeah, you got some. Uh, oh, cool. And uh, the okay. islands out there which uh that's cool thank you very much yeah eastern micronesia ah right yeah and yeah transfer falklands over to me whenever you can i am at war so i'm not going to be oh, able right. to for a little okay. bit <laughs> Real quick, I do need to spend a little bit of time coring. Don't core the Falklands. So, Tome, St. Helena. Lonnie and there we go. Uh, oh no, I didn't realize. <laughs> hey, hey, uh, hey, angst. What's up? Japan has to go here. <laughs> I didn't realize that you had control of that. You're gonna have to sell that to me later. Uh, what, what? What did I? What? You own You're, a bit of land in the center of Spain. I didn't realize <laughs> when I was selecting that that it had given it to you. Oh my God! Wow. Uh, okay, let's Japan ha Why did Japan have forces there? Uh, Milan, Holland. I yeah. Oh, yeah. That Holland. Makes sense. Okay, just a moment. Done. Uh, I can't. Sang? You can't sell it to me while I'm at war. Oh God, I'm damn it! Still at okay. war with uh, yeah. Portugal. Just carry on. Carry on. Yeah, it's the only problem being at war with Portugal. Uh, auto save. Um, Hobo, can you give me fleet basing rights? Because I suddenly uh, I'm having issues yes. getting home. Request them. Um, I'm just taking the second piece out. Other people, get out of here. Urbino. All right, I wanted Urbino. I think this is the first time I've ever seen Spain split between... Yes, Spain. Italy split between the two uh, merchant republics. Which, you know... Mm. Both sent to the two republics of, uh, of Ottomans and Tang. <laughs> I mean, I was mentioning Genoa and Venice, but also I know, that. I know, what you were, I know what you're intending to say, but I think it's funnier. Do you have someone available to request? Oh, no, mind, it's right there. Okay. Oh, yeah, I can't separate Peace or Bino because that was a coalition. Just remembered, I actually declared war on my coalition, and that was forming at the start of this war. That's why I declared it so quickly. So, uh, I do have a question for Japan. Do you want to come in on... Actually, can I call you in on this war? Hang on. I need to pause just... While I look at diplomacy, it's because, you know, there's 90,000 Portuguese at home at in Spain. You can invite me. That's fine. Yeah, uh, I'm not sure if I can because you have a peace treaty with them. 
Oh. Oh, wait, no, you don't have the peace treaty anymore. Never mind. Just call me in if you feel it, feel it helps. Well, it's so you can get more Mekashiko. Japanese Mississippi. Imagine trying to pronounce Mississippi with a Japanese accent. Mississippi. <laughs> hey, Portugal, you're not blocking the Strait of Gibraltar. Leave. Oh, I see why I can't land in the Falklands as part of a rebellion going on there. If you could clear that rebellion that, on your way, that would be nice. Mm. If you have troops on that boat, of course. I suppose I can. You're clearing it for Tibet. Think of it that way. What has Tibet ever done for us? That's the yeah. question. Other than the... Uh, yeah. The everything. Other than the aqueducts, the culture, the really cool yes. Buddhism. The better yeah. than yours Buddhism. Oh. Where's land that I need to develop? Because I need to spend some resources. So, improved relations also decrease aggressive expansion impact? Yes. Or, uh, no. Improved relations lowers it quicker. But diplomatic so, reputation? Does that help? Diplomatic reputation? No. Okay. If neither works, then I'll go for diplomatic reputation. Uh, basically, aggressive expansion lowers the amount you get directly, whereas improved relations makes your gained aggressive expansion go down quicker. You know, I could reinstate Morocco over here. If I really wanted to. Alright, take those. I'm in the Enlightenment, so I figured it's time to start teaching people how to speak Tibetan. People turn to Buddhism in South Africa. Sure. We'll see how that works out for you.
By the way, I forgot I had a military alliance with Madagascar. And just... That's fine. They're my tributary, so it's oh, not okay. like well, there's... I've just dissolved the alliance because uh, it wasn't really going to help me at all. Oh my god, these... I forgot how good generals I was actually rolling at this point, and that one... Yeah, well, I'm not used to it. I've got some pretty decent generals as well. Not my Inquisitor, no! You're the only one keeping... <laughs> keeping the Confucian Inquisition alive. <laughs> it's really weird to say. Good lord, that's a hundred thousand Portuguese. It's going to be like one humongous battle over here, I think. Oh, hey, when did uh, all of the Caribbean's 40,000 army show up in South Africa? That's new. This storyline is, this is really light. like, it's such a clusterfuck. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you mean, having the... Uh, Portuguese Caribbean show up in South Africa. If I can re-siege Leon. Ah, their army's moving. Yeah, South Africa is not going to be doing too well promptly. Our truce has ended with Malacca. Uh, my truce hasn't. Really? Uh, I thought, I thought it was, yeah, no, I've still the got a truce, that's ends, weird. ends, uh, in June for some reason. I must have, like, a yes. diplomatic reputation that makes it decline faster or something. Ah. Uh. Yeah, uh, well, I'm going to attack Molakia, the allied with Bernai, but I won't go CB them because that would take me into war with the uh, Ottomans, which might be bad time. I mean, this right. destroyed a shitload of my fleets. I was just trying to peacefully sailing around the world, and the Portuguese just showed up. Nothing quite like building a fort for your vassal, only having to resiege it. Oh my god, the Irish have landed in, Af in uh, Spain. I like seeing Castilla and Brazil getting overwhelmed by re revolutionaries. That's funny. Alright lads, gonna sail down to Africa. God bless the Marines. Eh. Boo! Okay, who's Russia allied with? Only Bohemia. I think I just sunk my goddamn flagship, like, technically. Sank your battleship. My flagship is because my flagship is now... F okay, it's, no, it, it, it sunk. 
I, I, I just I built a fleet and tried to sell it, sell it like across the world, and I just got them sunk uh, because it got attacked halfway there. So now it's like fleeing into instead of into Ming or something, it flees. Sorry, Tang. It flees into um, uh, Louisiana. So I just lost like sixty uh, percent of that fleet. It's okay. It's just annoying. It's just freaking it's a dead name to man. Sorry. <laughs> Your social credit score is going down as we speak. <laughs> <laughs> well played. Oh. Yeah. You're gonna get the uh, underwater bunker next. Come next Olympics. Don't you worry about it. Awkward silence. Uh, no, I'm just, I'm just concentrating. It's fine. I also don't get a re the reference at all. There, are, there, there was pictures from uh, Olympic athletes having a like the pipes bursting in the roof of their. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, I did hear it was a bit of a shambles this year, Winter Olympics. There we go. There's a missionary. Bump them up to proper amounts. Okay, now core Rome. <laughs> ah, perfect. Oh wow. Question is, do I have I have spare promoted cultures done? <laughs> Just accepted Umbrians. You gotta accept the Umbrians for what they are. Italians. Yeah. Disgusting. Truly. Man, you can tell something's really screwy up in Scotland when uh, Edinburgh isn't considered a core yet. Yet or anymore? Uh, it was any more, and now they're having to recore it. I'm waiting for them to finish recoring it so I can convert it. <laughs> oh, thanks for clearing the Falklands. Now the Falklands are having the Spanish rise up. <laughs> Jeez. I'll send some guys. I mean, if you want to. I was about to sail over, but it... Yeah. No, I'm, uh... It's probably easier, because I'm currently at my base in uh, the Galapagos. <laughs> yeah, I'm all the way back in uh, Indonesia now. Oh, it's boy, also much it easier for you to land troops on your own territory because I have to do marine landings and stuff. I am shocked that even though it's a religious center, it only takes me 21 months to convert Rome. That's, that is pretty funny. Uh, I also... Sorry, guys. I just want to pause for a moment. Oh, wait, no, I'm in naval battle. I'll have to uh, win this first. I also noticed uh, in the 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 the, the, the mod, Shattered Europa, yeah. there's more buildings you can use as well. In fact, there's a whole system of actually having different types of metals. And you know different resources. Metal is a good example. So you can eventually like, oh, you can now make cannons. Or in mountains, you can spend like three thousand dollars to prospect, change the resource to a metal. It's uh, really in depth. And uh, one of the things 
was actually roads to make your troops oh, move faster in sunk. your own territory. Okay, now yeah, I'm also feature in, in three. I remember. Uh, yeah, and right. any hmm. mod that edits buildings seems to add roads. I have to wait today. Uh, I have no diplomats to send. Oh. Sorry, guys. <laughs> the classic. Uh, there was just a little bit of Borneo left, and should get. Yep. Should get a big chunk of Molarka from this war as well. Probably won't be able to annex them totally. And tribute. Yeah. Going to have one province, but you know, that kind of works because. They'll keep that alliance with Brunei and I'll be able to annex them both in the next war in uh, 10 years or 5 years, whatever it is. Give me all of your things. Woohoo! Okay, I know what the peace tree is going to be now, it's just a matter of actually setting out... There's these goddamn engagements. Portugal is really annoying, I'm just trying to move my fleets, but I can't do it. Hmm. Well, if that's then I guess I'll wait with this fleet and just hope for the best. Okay. Yeah, I've marked everything that I'm interested in. So, we have a 100% peace deal ready, we just need to actually get the war score to do so. And you can just control uh, whatever you find appropriate. Yeah, I mean, we could get 14 more war score just from sitting on them, but uh, obviously... Uh... So a moment here, I will pass this to... Megashiko. I think that's it. That's important. Oh, actually, this also should go to. I like how Delhi technically has more soldiers than Deccan right now. I'm having to march up my own Africa. <laughs> Screw you, Caribbean. You ain't marching into Gabon that easy. Uh, despite the fact they have no land border to get to Mali, the British are trying to declare war for them, which is interesting. New Japan and Tuscany. That sounds like a good place for Rahad Kobayashi.
and Japanese Louisiana. So uh, steam engine. I feel like you should just probably call that Mishishipi or something like that. <laughs> yeah, it, it was I, I feel excellent. Louisiana is a very hard thing to say in Japanese. Yeah, it was not it was done on purpose uh, with customized subject you can. Oh, yeah, of course. That is. Seventy boats over. There. <gasps> guys, guys, scroll got? out. Uh, scroll out on uh, Indonesia. It finally happened. Yay! Oh, America. oh, hey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, nice. We're happy for you. Nice, nice, nice. All right. The goal of the campaign has been completed. <laughs> Staff has finally embraced his inner warmonger. Um. He's letting his inner people shine. Or a as it were. <laughs> uh, wow, I'm getting a lot of rebellions. I can't imagine why. Uh, people don't like being conquered, apparently. Jerks. Hmm. Yeah, this has basically just turned into a colonial war. Because the mainland's already won. It's just down to fighting... Uh, it's down to Japan and me cleaning up Africa. Since I didn't have enough forces there to hold it. Wait, Jeff and... Oh, uh, I guess Holland is helping. <laughs> and kind of just... The having my vessels do the stuff. The heavy lifting, as it were. Yeah. Surprised the, that Carib still exists, despite the fact that uh, it's not allied with anyone. Yes, Holland has marched its way down to Africa. Normally they sail this way, but... I want to try something here. Um... Uh-oh. Wait, there was no confirmation. Yeah, I'll just go with the. Taking these islands, just they have less place to put their ships. And try and get a little bit of war score, because that's going to be Portuguese direct land, so hopefully it'll be worth more. Alright, uh, Anks, are you ready to go to war with Russia? If not, I'm just going to go to I war am with Russia. Just place. go to war with them. I'm kind of have all my armies in Europe at the moment. Okay. Yeah, Japan's taking a nice vacation over there in the, the Dutch canals. Seeing these strange things called windmills. Windmill.
Ah, uh, perfect. What schism could there possibly be over over here? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, sounds like nonsense to me. Spread this horridness around. I will direct you to have a look at the culture map mode right now. I I can't. Sorry, I'm in the middle of a Fair virtual enough. civil war over here. Yes. Where? Have, have a look. Where would I must? Where must I look? Oh, I may have that. over expanded. I guess this is why you don't want your over expansion going over a hundred. <laughs> no, no, going over a hundred is a bad. Yeah, just uh, a little bit of spattering of Tibet here, there, and everywhere over in the steppes. There's always everywhere Tibet. where I can convert for minimal cost. Yes, this land was always inhabited by Tibetans. Update: Ulster has landed in South Africa. Well, where else? Imagine, would they imagine Irish South Africa. Oh, I think there were actually quite a few Irish involved via the English or the British Empire, I should say. Well, no, just like Irish-controlled South Africa. Yeah. Their seat in Dublin. Ironically, given the uh, location of Ireland, it's actually relatively easy to uh, become a major colonial power. Yeah. I'm, I've gotten called for peace now, by the way. Yeah, we are still reasonably far from potentially being able to end. I don't know how much we want. 
Ah, não. Com certeza, não. Tem I mean, we only have 69 war scores, so. Yep. Totally didn't call it out at that point for a particular reason. <laughs> oh my. Is that going to happen the way I think it's going to happen? No, because I talked about it, it jinxed it. Oh, real close, though. Outnumbered 2-1, to one, and I almost beat the uh, Caribbeans. There appears to be... A thousand... Thousand Khmer troops just vacationing in Somalia. That is what we call what they are doing right there, vacationing. Um, wow. Yeah, they were originally there to siege a province, and I just forgot about them. Thanks for pointing out. I guess I'll uh, disband them. Almost get New Providence out. They probably are worth a couple war score because they're a minor nation, so their capital is worth a lot. Um, we still have a couple more months of war score otherwise that we can get. That's quick, you really are rushing into it. Yeah. Get over here, Caribbean. Let's survive in a second time. Put my best general in charge of kicking your butt. Rebels are dead. Teach over there. Gotcha. New Providence. Get out of here. Yeah, that was two war score. This is why I like having vassals, because when, you know, you're at wars like this, they just split up and re-siege for you. So yeah, it's not this. like, it's not that I don't like having vassals, it's just like having one province stuff can be just mostly a, a bother. Yeah, like one province vassals, and I normally do a lot more vassals early game, because there's a reason to. Yeah. But uh, in this case, I've taken a lot of vassals because I was guiding them in the correct direction. <laughs> and uh, it's just happened to work out that uh, well, that was good. 
that uh, they're resieging Africa for me, considering there's not a single fort anywhere over here. Well, Africa has been resieged. Going to siege their island over in the, in the Canaries, which will cause a uh, battle. Apparently, there's rebels over there in North Africa, so I have to go fix those. Settle over the war score. I'm hoping sinking a major part of their fleet will help, at least. I can't believe the siege is at 92%. <laughs> uh, there we go, finally got it. Oh, are we that close? Oh my. I only have 76 war score, but I could take 95%. Uh, in a moment. Probably after their fleet is sunk. Why is that controlled by Leon? Why is Leon uh, the resetting dispo with persons, by the way. Oh, and, uh, and, uh, you, oh. Oh, that is their army. When did that show up? Uh, oh, yeah, that was, that was an army without a leader. All right, so how close? I don't care if the peasants are sieging Lisboa. That actually helps us because they have less of a reason to stay in the war because there's revolts. So technically, that's helpful to us in terms of their desire to end the war. Um, that's that that's worsening. I was gonna take a little bit more of Mexico for you, but I don't think I'll be able to. That's completely fine. Uh, I'll still be able to do 96. Just I wanted to try and get 100. Still. Uh... Yeah, just keep that pause for a second. Um, don't unpause while I'm doing this. Thanks, look at Mexico. You ready? Yes. That stuff that's like Japanese, Texas, and Southern Plains just automatically Texas. shift over. Shift over to the correct nations as soon as it's unpaused. And I can get to Segovia. So, Joseph? I want to point out there's a Tibetan fleet outside of the Falklands. Oh shoot, but... yeah, thanks. I got distracted. <laughs> Forgot about that. Just so they're not sinking, because I think they yeah, might be. Yeah, appreciate it. Right, 
Grant Leon Avila. Uh, by the way, I can call you into this war on Russia if you want, Japan. I mean, I can fight it. As, um, okay. More for me. Uh, then. Let's see, actually, just let's see. Uh, yeah, it's not good at the moment. I I do have a lot of troops in the uh, in Siberia, but um, yeah, you, you go ahead. Uh, I need to do the the French thing. So, is there heads that need chopping? Yep, that's the closest to the French thing that I got. Anyways, yeah, I am good to unpause whenever. Okay, I am just pouring. Okay. Leon's a little bigger. Literally all of Portuguese islands are uh, clipped away from them. Nice, I caught them in Bayouli. This would be a big battle. Remember the last time I was at peace? Feels like I've been at war all week. <laughs> there can be only war. You wanna come and beat up China with me? I mean, beat up Russia with me? Yeah. Beat up China. You wanna come and beat uh, up Russia with me? I wanna take some time to recover. I mean, it would take me. By the time I sail over there, it might be over. Hmm. I know, it's a bit of a meat grinder. Are you doing okay? Because uh, I see the army size is kind I, I, of... I lost two large battles on even numbers, which was a bit surprising because I thought I had uh, 
somewhat better uh, forces than that, so I'll get a advisor as better morale bonuses. I can. What I can do is, um, like, I do have a lot of soldiers in the Netherlands at the moment. Um, and I can, like, Prussia is fine with that, yeah. So I can, after I've moved my ships there, I can move uh, lots of soldiers from Holland into Prussia. Mm -hmm. And then go from the west if you want. Whatever you want. Like if you need help, then I will. You know, I will uh, try to I get. I don't need help. Soldiers. I just think you guys would have fun with this. I would. It's more because like I've had soldiers standing in in the in the Netherlands for like thirty years, I think, or something. Um, that's basically uh, the whole reason. Oh yes, they're doing that thing that they did earlier. That's really stupid. I don't know when it happens. Iron states, they're basically vessels, aren't they? Client states? Yeah. Yep. They're vassals that you create the flag of, and um, they have no cores, you have to give them to them. Which is a little okay. bit odd, because uh, they also start with zero absolutism, so they can't take nearly as much as you can directly, because you can only unlock them the same time you unlock imperialism. Why well, uh, I'm so used to when I'm doing modded runs, a few times that I do, I use a mod to make that to make client states be unlocked by default. Oh, the British to hell got made worse. Surprise, no way to get troops over there, they lost it. Vassal ship of Scotland because I want to uh, just have them become a tributary. As soon as I did, I saw the Great Britain march troops up to uh, Northern England, and then the second that I proclaimed the guarantee of Scotland, they just walked right back. 
Walked away. <laughs> oh, where are my boats? Where are my boats? Where are my boats? Oh, my boats oh, my right well, it's a historical event because it's a whole paragraph and it was added from the uh, female rulers in history because I can see that as a pirate queen. Oh, cool. Nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah, her. Ching Shi? Yeah, yeah. She's kind of uh, famous. Uh, I guess I'll just take her as an admiral. I got no reason not to. My current admiral is probably nearly dead. I'm trying to figure something out here. Um, to bet. Yo. You forgot about the Falklands again. Ah, oh, damn it, damn it, damn it. <laughs> oh, okay. Have... Uh, it turns out my whole army died when I tried to land them. Oh. Well, that's going to be a problem because that means I need to sail down. Yeah, there. yeah. Well, I was sending the guys originally, and then. I, uh, you said that you actually have it, so I stopped, and then I saw a year later that you hadn't taken it back, and I'm like, oh, oh, you still have mind. Well, when, when I said that, I was like, it would be nice if you did come help, and then I stopped, because I... Yeah, I, I misunderstood your, uh, your intentions there. still have one more war in Great Britain in me, I think. Britain's one ally is Bavaria. Amusing. Get it? It's a try. It, it's an African nation that doesn't have a core. Why does it need to be represented by a dude with spear? It's a little bit out of date. Yeah. All right. Twenty months. I should be able to sail from Africa to the Falklands in twenty months and get rid of them before they it uh, seeds away. Be silly. Do all this work? Fuck you, game!
No, I wasn't going um, to keep Sar keep Sardinia at first, and I realized there's a <laughs> there's some coal there. I didn't even think about the coal when I was taking it. I was going to make Sardinia an independent nation. But uh, now that you mention it, I guess it does seem a little bit better uh, Tibetan. Uh, by the way, I just lost 30,000 troops trying to retake the Falkland Islands from the rebels down there. Ooh. Is there a reason why the rebels would be so strong? I don't think what? they're mm. absolutely beasts. They I, just lost, I just lost 30,000 troops with a, with a three-star general. What is this? What the heck? Spanish separatists. I know. Yeah. yeah I'm probably gonna, I Well, I might. I might be able to sail over get at 60,000. But good lord. I know that landing... That you get a negative from sea landings, but I didn't think it would be that... It would do not, that much damage. Yeah. Terrible, terrible damage. Dot ancient reference. Field. And there's 9,000 troops left. Oh my... Uh, yeah, I also just realized something. Um, my mandate's tanking. <laughs> because of the devastation. Oh dear. I have to think about where I can fix that. Definitely gonna have to build a fort in Sardinia. Nothing like constant devastation in the African coastline. Okay. I think I should be able to wall score 100% at France now, so I'll just take a look at this. Also, I'm so happy Leon took their colonist off of their capital long enough for me to convert it for them. <laughs> Lol. It's actually annoying here because it can't. I have to fight France again, I guess. I wanted Panama because I'm really sick of sailing around the world. <laughs> um, Smart move. I can't get it, sadly. Does Dutch Columbia not want it? I said colonial something can't take or see something something. Because Caribs in the way, ironically. Because it would technically be overseas, because it is not direct land connection. Colonial nations are a little bit funky. So I guess if you could, if you could declare war on Carib. And, yeah, but uh, I need to. Yeah, I just do this. Screw it. I will suffer some oil extension for a while. Ah oh, yes, everyone knows the uh, historically accurate Japanese Normandy. Uh, 
I see no problem with this. Oh god, uh, I didn't notice that you done paused. Shit, 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 my army. Oh, sorry. Oh. I'm so sorry. It's, uh... Why did- oh no. I just lost like 80,000 people because of that. Sorry, I'd sent in one group and I was waiting to time another group going in. I will definitely come and help with Russia as soon as I've got my O extension down. If Say you when want, you're I... unpausing, please. Yeah, sure. Sorry. Okay, it took 60,000 men, but uh, the Falklands has been cleared. Mm -hmm. 60,000 men and a three-star general. Peace. And I still lost 29,000 men clearing it. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't know why people fought over this so much. <laughs> I could not tell you. I think the British wanted it because uh, it reminded them of their homeland, you know, uh, kind of cold, grey, windy, <laughs> windswept. Of course, how could I be so naive? I couldn't tell you why the Spanish wanted it so much, really. It wasn't the Spanish, really. It was Argentines for some reason. Well, but in our game it was uh, oh, Spanish yeah. separatists, I believe. Oh, sorry. But yes, I think I probably switched from joke mode back into serious mode. <laughs> My tone of voice probably didn't help. Uh, Anyway, so I may have started a war with Portugal um, with an eye to grabbing some land in the southern tip of South America, but it, uh, it hasn't gone entirely according to my uh, ambitions so far. Mm. It turns out they have like 100,000 troops on the mainland, so... Yeah, that's 
that was the rough part for me. Add a lot more troops than you would expect. Yes. But I'm bringing in reinforcements and we'll see what we can do. I'm a benevolent ruler. I'm bringing education and culture to wherever I conquer. Never mind the fact that the uh, culture may be forcing you to Confucianism. You have brought peace, justice, freedom, and security yeah, you to your care. ancient, ancient empire. Never Serene. conquered. Serene empire. Celestial Empire. Celestial even. Tangently related, since I've beat Total Warhammer 3 as Fantasy China, it was interesting to see the parallels they drew with that. Hmm. Is this, um, so Zoyt's game using, uh, the Age of Sigma, um, and. No, that? no, no, no. No? no? No, nah, it doesn't no, matter with that. It's I thought, still... I thought that's when you got all the crazy factions, like the Pseudo-China and the Steampunk no, the, Aerial they, Dwarfs and things. They, they still existed, but they, they didn't really have a whole lot yet. of... Yeah, there was okay. like mentions of them in the lore, but like Kislev and Cathay, this is the first time they've actually had a dedicated army because they weren't even on the tabletop. Okay. But, uh, anyway, sorry, I think I was interrupting you. No, oh, that's fine. Ruled by immortal Chinese dragons, have the Great Bastion in the north against the Chaos Hordes. Uh, have the ogres in the mountains that all have Fu Manchu. Yeah. Chaos is Mongols, ogres also Mongols. <laughs> And the whole idea is trying to save uh, the bear god of Kislev, and um, totally like how, unlocked. like how it's like, oh yeah, Kislev, we must save our god. Chaos factions, we want parts of them, parts of. And the ogres just want to feed feed the dead god to the great maw. Yeah, they want to eat it. <laughs> I Even Cafe is. I appreciate a uh, a goal a goal based solution here. Even Cafe is like, oh, we have our long lost dragon sister that uh, Urson last saw. So we're gonna go save Urson and have his dying breath say where she is. <laughs> not ac not actually keep him alive or anything like that. Just the practical people. Practical dragon. People. But uh, on to the original reason I mentioned it. What still gets me is that they, they'll do normal voice lines that, you know, sound vaguely accented. Uh, vaguely Chinese accented when they do their call-outs. Like, Celestial Dragon! And uh, stuff about harmony and all that stuff. And then you'll just get... Like, the one person they hired that was actually Chinese who didn't know how to actually speak English. Yeah. It's like... Stone and steel! It's like a voice crack in the middle of it. And it's... It really takes... Really takes you out of it every time. But yeah, it was fun. Just uh, a lot of people are so used to the Mortal Empires campaign, which is you know combined both Warhammer One and Two, that 
a lot of people don't like, hey, there's an actual objective that I have to pay attention to and I can't just matte paint. It's awful. Hello. But on to totally the, not the other reason I brought it up. Uh, I don't know how angst is on Total War games. I do. Um, I played through with with friends uh, where I was. Who was Empire and I was uh, Wood Elves. Hmm. Uh, we didn't make it to the end. Uh, they, they, they are good, um, but uh, honestly, uh, I only really like Warhammer Total War. Uh, oh, the yeah. thing is, like, at least the campaign. Just a sec. Um, I just had a rebellion pop somewhere, and I need to find out where it is. Oh, there it is. I, lo I, I, I have played a lot of skirmishes in Medieval 2 and stuff in Rome. Um, yeah. But campaigns I've never really played. Like, uh, it's it's uh, the map painting element is uh, kind of cuts out a lot of the immersion for me uh, as to how I'm things pausing. work. I am unpausing now. Okay. Yes. And uh, I don't know how exactly how well Daft likes Total War games. Uh, I don't really play them these days. Um, if I did, it would be more the older ones for nostalgic kicks. Um, kind of lost interest. Well, everyone says, you know, Shogun 2 is a great game, but um, I bought it, but I just never really got into it for whatever reason. Um, hmm. Is it possible oh. to like play um uh how do like, is a multiplayer function where we play together? Yes. That's that, the same state. Funnily the same enough, state. The, same the, state reason, the reason why yeah. I bring it up is because Total Warhammer 3 introduces an eight player campaign. Ooh. Like, it is really cool, uh, the problem is that waiting for battles is, is torture. I do know that you can, at least in two, you can cooperate in the same, as the same army, so it can work out, uh, but uh, it, it, has, it has the same problem like that, that Heroes 3 does. Now it's actually excellent, but getting the battles done in multiplayer is kind of, yeah. Yeah, um, that's, that's the thing, you can gift any unit to any player who is yeah. playing on the faction with you, so it could be like, okay, I'll control the center, Daft, you control the right flank. Angst, you control the left. Chaos yeah. caused chaos with the artillery. <laughs> that I would love to do. Um, if we do something... I wouldn't mind playing uh, a Warhammer uh, Total War campaign with you guys. Probably it's mostly uh, that it is like... Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah what, as, what thing... I said, you can take a lot, lot of time to wait. The only th well, also they did introduce simultaneous turns in Warhammer. 3 yeah, that's that's true, and that's and that's that's part of it. The problem is the battles. But if if we just like say screw it and just play as um, as a Grand Alliance something and uh, play as armies and the same thing. Also, if you're fine with me being completely terrible at Warhammer uh, army combat, then um, then that should be completely fine. Like it's it's just overwhelming. I have played. I remember in Medieval, medieval Two, I basically just use cannon fodder. And then basically only controlled the cavalry. That was basically a lot of what I could manage. And that's work, you know. It, but, uh, yeah, it, uh, there's. You could give anyone anything, so if there's like three cavalry units, you could do that. Yeah, um, as, uh, as the elves, I basically just like made a massive army of. Uh, of uh, griffins, I think it was. No, hippogriffs? I don't know. Um, and then I'm basically just. Const I, I just make shock shock movements while my uh, while big dragons build the damage. That's what that's what I did, and that worked out fine against AI idiots. So. Yeah. Well, um, Leon is being a jerk, and they're harmonizing with Catholic. Because I gave them Catholic lands, and I would have figured it would give me time to convert them, but apparently not. So that's kind of annoying. But um, the only thing I will say is, uh, unlike Paradox, 
the entry fee for Warhammer is a little bit higher. Mm -hmm. Yes. I did buy basically everything but two. Um, uh, I'm actually kind of in money troubles right now, so I will need stuff for that. But other than that, you know. Yeah. Yeah, that would it, it would basically be saying, hey, how would each of you like to p spend sixty dollars on a game you only play on multiplayer? Yeah. Well, that that part I don't like. Um, is the is the what you say the multiplayer? Uh, does the other players also use the hosts expansions? No. Okay. That's why I said it's a high, it's a higher fee yeah. of entry. I mean, by the sounds of it, the only person that wouldn't have everything would be Daft. Which I mean, Daft would be interested. I wouldn't mind. Subsidizing that when Mortal Empires comes out, subsidizing one and, uh, one and two, because I'm not to saying be, I'm going to, to be play. honest, I don't, I don't think I would be particularly interested in a multiplayer campaign of Total War games, uh, I'm afraid, because I just imagine it being a massive slog, um, you know, it'd have to be really dedicated to sitting through all the battles and everything. Um, yeah. Well, like, like I said, you take part in the battles. You take part in the battles, yeah. Oh no, I just had to rebuild yeah. the Galapagos. What can I do? Okay, uh... Right, well, since I still don't have my other territory, I guess I'm going to have to sail back to the coast, pick up an army, and bring them back. I will return. But yeah, that would I be if you want... I find the Tibetan equivalent of saying Douglas MacArthur is. If that is, if you'd want to, Daft, like I said, it. I know you have you haven't played Total War since a really old one, but the multiplayer is a lot smoother. Like I said, there's simultaneous turns, a la Civilization. Uh, you can gift units during battle, so you can you know, control a third of the army, so you're not just sitting there for 20 minutes mm. watching someone do a battle. Yeah, I I gotta be honest, I've. <sighs> I've not really enjoyed Total War games ever since, well, going all the way back to about 2003, 2004, uh, the original medieval Total War game, well, I think was the last one that I really enjoyed. I have tried the other ones, I've tried Medieval Total War 2, um, Rome Total War, uh, Shogun Total War, but um, yeah, I never really got into them, just for whatever reason, they just don't, don't do it for me, so... Yeah, it was yeah. a thought of, you know, eventually if we wanted to do something a little different. Yeah, well, I mean, don't let me stop you guys, but, uh, yeah, yeah, I think I, I personally would sit out. Tibetan forces approaching the outskirts of Kiev. Problem is, I'm getting big penalties for this war right now because I don't control St. Petersburg because it's on the wrong side. Also, I've been searching down Kazan for so long, it's hilarious. I'm sorry, why does Prussia own Genoa? In our personal union. Uh. Russia has taken Pisa. Because <laughs> they had it ordered from Genoa. They just took it for themselves. Sure.
Alright, I've finished crushing uh, the uh, Tsarist armies. They're yeah, actually completely blue in, in pieces here. That's pretty cool. Nice. I just looted Moscow. Oh, Bad cool. times for Moscow. Good times for Tibet. I really wish I could just like tag over to Leon real quick and stop them harmonizing freaking Catholic. <laughs> no, it needs to be correct religion. <laughs> I, I mean, did convert all of your land for a reason. Yeah, I know. The whole idea of Confucianism is uh, harmonizing, but I refuse. Orange tension is going down. Hey, good news! Devastation has lowered in my various lands enough that I'm not trashed. Yeah. Thanks. Them poor Russians. You don't need help with Russia at this point, right? No. no. All right. The moment, uh, the moment where I need help is uh, is past. Uh, I am now. Sure. Just gonna. I might casually... still beat them up, honestly. Why not? You know. I mean, um, you can if you want to. There's just not really much stuff that you order that you can reasonably. No, I'm considering uh, releasing Finland and. Uh, Making it something. I have no release donation like that before, but it could be fun.
By the way, uh, I am, so to say, uh, superior. I am as waste as I want to be. I don't know if you have plans for, but um, just want to say that. Alright. It would also help me if you just took that area, but... Um, took, took the it Central is a... Siberia area? Yes, but I haven't... You know, I, I did not help you here, so... Uh... I'm honestly surprised that, uh, for being Madagascar, they are... Well, okay then. They are fielding... 70,000 men? I didn't even know Lusatia would be able to be released. It's an interesting addition. Be sure. Alright, I'm about to finish sieging down St. Petersburg. Once I've sieged that, I'm gonna see if I can just make peace. Sure. Alright, I've sieged down St. Petersburg. I'm at 75% more score. Let me see what I can get them to do. Uh, okay, so hang on. Did you say that you wanted me to leave like the Siberia node for you or something? Or uh, t If you can take the Siberian area, it means I have much less shit to deal with in S Siberia. Oh. You know? oh, so you want me to take that area? Yes. Okay, cool. You don't have to, but it would help tremendously. Uh, I'm just going to take out Siberia first, honestly. Yeah, you want to have it anyways for tall, okay. like not not tall to bit as in tall to bit, but in tall to bit as in yeah, north south. Yeah, I think it would look best anyways. Yeah. Um. Even though, let's see. Hey, Daft. Mhm. Mm How does T door still exist? Um. You you really have a thing against. Small nations exist in peacefully, <laughs> don't you? I didn't even see they're oh, a spice is... island! Ah. They're just chilling out there. They, they haven't been hostile to me. Um, they're not Spanish. I, yeah, I just haven't got around to... Uh, I kind of forgot about them, to be honest, this session. <laughs> Maybe I'll just leave them alone. They're... Uh, Animist Molucans. I don't think I've got any alliances. Uh, oh, that. Oh, well, interesting. I went to Brunei. But uh, Brunei is allied with the Ottomans, so that's kind of an issue. Sounds like a great way to get to Brunei without dealing with the Ottomans. Link. Um. Oh, actually, yes. All right, here we well, go. The, 99.8% overextension, yes please. Give me 5,000, 5, 5.5 thousand gold. Anything else I can get out of this? Oh geez, I can also force them to release countries, and I still have enough war score for that too. Okay. So I've taken all the things that I can. I could make them release Trebzond. Yeah, that's... That ain't nothing. Wait, did they clear? Where's Finn? I'm forcing them to release Iceland. Yeah. And let's see if I can make them release Iceland and... Oh, wait. Right. Iceland and Norway would be too expensive. God damn it. I think they released Finland. No, not released it, but it conver culture converted, so now it's gone. That's annoying. Then I will make a client state instead, I guess. Never tried that either, so I need to learn it. <laughs> I, I could also like make it Iceland, actually. Oh, if you if you really, if you I, I, I'm I'm releasing it. Iceland. Yeah, do that, do that. Wow, they've even pushed Karelian up to North Scandinavia. Okay.
I have crazy aggressive expansion at this point, by the way, but I'm willing to uh, to attack in client state anyways, because end of the game anyways. And, uh, Uh, guys, um, yes. how do you feel about wrapping up maybe within the next 60 minutes, say? It's That's getting good. close to midnight here. Alright. Sure. Um, if I wait for you guys, uh, I don't want to stay up too late. I do have work tomorrow. I am working from home, so that means I can stay in bed a bit longer, but... I don't want to stay up crazy late. I've, I have been suffering some Mondays recently where... I think it's a very, a very good night. call to, uh, to... Be responsible. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's, All right, there we go. it's kind of my own fault, to be honest. Have a look at that. There's been, there's been a couple of nights where we finished playing, yeah. and I've, because I've been so hyped from mm. gaming, I've stayed up for another hour and doing other things. Okay, Tibet stretches all the way to the Arctic Hold, Circle. Tall bet. Tall bet. That is tall, impressive. Tall. This is what I actually meant. <laughs> Also, oh. this isn't giving me any overextension because it's uh, colonial territory, so I is expect that, it to do the same for you. Is that beautiful or hideous? I, I can't decide. I think that this is totally appropriate. An offer to sell a province from Tang. Ah, yes. Except. Don't forget the Galapagos. Yes. Well, my boat's still making its um, way over, I think. I'm doing a river crossing against 40,000 troops. What could go wrong? Possibly everything. Sailing my way downstream. Battle of Rio de Plata. I think I'm actually winning against the combined armies of South America. Or most of it, anyway. Uh, yeah, oh, it's definitely a battle. I was winning until they brought the reinforcements in. Uh, yeah, now, now I'm losing. Well, gosh darn it. Um, this is where I'm going to say it might be your lack of cannons. Hmm. Because he saw in that you had a lot of cavalry. Yeah, to be honest, I wasn't paying too much attention. It's just the, the forces that I had in uh, available. I just shipped them over. They've not been specially designed for this campaign. Yeah, eventually you do get to a point where uh, cavalry is effectively useless. Because it's just not as good as having more more gun. More gun. Well, this is interesting. I didn't. Maybe I was being a bit naive, but I didn't know I was going to need like two hundred thousand troops to do this. Rio de la Plata in uh, the middle of the 18th century, but uh, hey, how have they got so many troops? It's crazy. They've all got 200,000 troops. Quantity ideas. That would make sense. Yeah, it gives the Puts them up to 135 limit. Well, now I need an exit strategy from this war. And of course, I'm a losing war score right now. It was briefly positive. So, Hobo, what's your ratio of infantry to cannons then in the game? And do you have cavalry at all? 
At this point, it's 14 to 14. Because it's just... What does that mean exactly? 14 infantry, 2 cavalry, 14 cannons. Okay. Because cannons in the fire phase at this point do so much. Whereas cavalry is okay if you have a slight flank, but you could even replace those with more infantry, probably. Hmm. They're effectively in 1800s line battles, so there isn't, or there wasn't a lot of cavalry at that point. I'm very pleased with how effective Gujarat and Hatramat were for uh, supporting me in that war. Vassals. Yeah. Like, honestly, just having two reasonably powerful vassals. Very useful. Like, they just filled out some of the gaps for me when I was sieging and stuff, and that's honestly, like, all I want. Right, I remember what I was doing. I was. I remember. Like, oh, 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 just a moment. I just fast. I just. Uh, oh my goodness, uh, you paused during my previous landing. Sorry. Uh, I just got a bunch of stuff here. Okay, so what happened? Everything. Is gonna be alright? I think so. Oh, a lot of random troops all over. Okay, this is actually kind of annoying. Uh, okay, so... Uh, yes. Okay. Four merchants, I guess. Uh... Oh god. Now all of the Dutch stuff is also red. <laughs> no. Yes. <laughs> uh. Uh, there's two Colombias. And two Mexicos. Two Canadas. Okay. Uh. Uh. <laughs> okay, so these are here. I have... What? An Old English two-decker. No, I have, I have three uh, flagships now. Cool. <laughs> uh, uh, and... These are here, okay. Actually, let's move you in. And upgrade you. Hey, Chaos. Yep. Where the hell are my armies? Um, Is your amphibious landing the one in the Galapagos? Yes. You're probably going to lose that because you don't have a general and they're down to 10,000 men. Okay, I'll land them in the fog lens and reinforce. Okay, are you guys ready? Ready. Yep. yep. So I, could, I could see you losing that immediately because they've been sailing so far, most of the men are dead. Yes. These land lovers mumble grumble. We lover a lot of land, I have to say. <laughs> See that land? We're loving it. I'm loving it. Just gonna say. <laughs> just gonna do that. Da 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 da. I'm land loving it. Oh, they just like lose random fleets. I don't know where they are. Uh, okay, so you are there now. Okay. Alright, I'm going to have to culturally enrich the Muscovites soon. Something something topical reference.
So this is oh, very God, nice actually. for having just sealed off the Russian front so that it's a lot more small and manageable. These Falklands are wonderful. They're very much like home. Mountainous and treeless. <laughs> mm -hmm. My religious unity actually dropped from like... Uh, 120 or something to... To 85. Okay guys, you go east. Time. If that is your real name. Come on, England. Again, I suspect he's making it up. I can already declare war on Spain. That's... I know, how wonderful.
Alright, here's the actual assault. Got my top general and 17,000 to the weak Tibetan Marines. I love, like, I know you're doing the Marines just because it's funny, I think, yes. at least. I don't know. Yeah. I, I've been doing it because it's funny to have Tibet be an aggressive naval power. Yes. It's 100% for that reason, yeah. <laughs> But Moscow is still the capital, right? No, St. Petersburg. Oh, okay. Also, I definitely looted the heck out of Moscow last war. That's good. I don't know. These are good things. We're heroes. So I can't believe my most long reigning ruler is my 033 guy. That sucks. <laughs> He's 70. Just, He's been reigning since he was 30. Forfeit. So the entirety of my golden age was under a loose lipped industrious entrepreneur who's 033. Yep, sounds like you 4 What's that? You want quality troops? Or a quality time? Best I can do is garbage man. finished up within the hour, probably sooner. What'd you make us for dinner? Uh, I don't know. Just wiped 60,000 troops. Yay. Wow. Those British, they've had it too good for too long. Well, yes. Well, that's more British than I expected to see. Great start to the war. You know, for not having the Scottish... I guess they have the Irish, but for not having the Scottish to... Uh, Mooch manpower off of. They have a lot, lot of, lot more army than I expected.
not threat pack. Just casually, 163,000 British. That sounds pretty casual, all right. Oh my god, why do I have to do a battle here? <laughs> okay, I kicked her out. Screw you, Britain. It's karma time, baby. Yeah, half of that army, I think, was mercenaries, so they were a lot less effective than they could have been. Also, you know, they're the British. They're not really well known for being as good on the land as they are in other places. Exactly, yes. They are indeed noted for exactly that. Plus, you know, if I had to eat British food, I wouldn't really have the energy to fight as hard anyway. Hey. <laughs> British food is basically all carbohydrates, so... Yeah, it's pretty high energy food. Potatoes and pastry and... More potatoes, more pastry, more pastry, some gravy, lots of meat. Oh, I have your potatoes if you want to finish up your meat. By the way, um, Daft, what's your thoughts of basically anyone who's, you know, big, beefy, and uh, not as smart being represented with a British accent in Warhammer? Um, <laughs> it's, it's a British company. I think that that's uh, yeah. I think because you know, Games Workshop is fine if it was a foreign company doing it. Um, maybe I would be slightly upset when I started typing, but uh, like the entirety of the orcs is basically represented by football fans. Um, yeah, I, I kind of feel like that's how they were inspired, you know, it's like the Even football, football hooligans on acid kind of thing, uh, taken to the extreme. Even, uh, the ogres have, like, a vaguely British-style accent. Yeah, well, I mean, what, what other accent do you give them, though? That's the question. Well, they are... badly if you give them a yes. Mongolian accent. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, never mind, that's what they were inspired by. I mean, so I can order the rings, what, what accents should should they have? An orcish accent, of course. Well. Get stuffed, stupid British. You didn't even build a better fort on London, you deserve to lose it. The tower will fall. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure I've, I've lost like a million soldiers and a million sailors in this war against uh, Rio de la Plata, but we'll see. There's a lot of attrition, because I'm, I'm really stretching my supply lines over here. 
I'm now on my third invasion, I think. Um, you know, I'm gonna do after I take London to tear down the giant clock. And I don't and think they built it yet. Yeah, it's not been built yet. It was uh, during Queen Victoria's reign. His next game. Well, next paradox product. Uh, how dare you interrupt my joke of uh, oh, to, sorry. <laughs> going to this tear down is, Big uh, Ben and make it make a better one called called Big Fuck Off Ben, visible from Portugal. <laughs> <laughs> That would have to be pretty huge. Uh, I think we need to do some maths on the curvature of the Earth. But <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's taller than the uh, Burj Khalifa. Sink their fleet already! Literally hundreds of boats. Puts, this puts the Trafalgar to shame. Go, Mama Jama. I was gonna, you know, take a picture of that because naval battles, not something you see happen every day. Behold, the sinking of the British Armada. I can't walk, sorry, I'm in the middle of a huge war, but I have walked quite around. You know, if I walk away for a second, I'm going to lose my whole army. Bad day for Lawrence Lester. But I'm probably going to lose my whole army, even with me paying constant attention. Oh, let's have a look. Oh, nice. Uh, my actual witness. I don't quite have the one-to-one -one ratio of infantry to cannons yet, but I definitely built some more and that seems to be helping. Jesus, this is a huge battle. Probably going to lose, but only because they sent in like 300,000 troops. Ow, why? No, I won. Oh. I won. It's possibly my biggest, biggest ever battle that I've played in EU4. Um, do you mind if we pause for a moment? Because uh, I want to see if I can peace out somehow from this war. I'm at plus 15% war score. Just one huge battle. I'm occupying a capital. Um, my manpower and sailors are at zero, and I've got rebellions breaking out back home, so I think this would be a good time to This is a good time out. to say, I have won, thank you very much, goodbye. Yeah, even if I don't get any territory, it was a, a learning exercise. And I think I need to uh, invite my allies next time I want to fight. Uh, Do you want Rio to call me in, by the way? Because I have a um, bunch of guys who I can drop in. Although I see that they have a large army there. I've just won a battle, but my, uh -huh. my manpower is absolutely screwed, so... Okay. Uh, you could reduce your professionalism. Um, let's see. I'm... 
I might be able to, they seem willing to surrender some territory, so this is interesting. Oh, okay. Even territory that I haven't occupied, that's odd. Yeah, so it's, for some reason it's super cheap to claim provinces from them. Yeah, colonial land is just really cheap. Really, really cheap. You can grab yeah. stuff very quickly. So I could give myself a little outpost here. Um, I know um, Tibet was going for like the Peru area. Uh. I might. Mm. Uh, yeah. Uh, if, if you leave the Pacific Coast, I will go for that in the next war. But right now, I'm more interested in fighting India. Also, I just noticed that Baluchistan just got murked by the Ottomans. So they did. Uh, if we want to do a great big anti-Ottoman war, I'm game for that. I would love to do that, actually. Uh, I was considering the next... Um, uh, after fi releasing Finland to release Ukraine. Oh, yeah. They even well, Ukraine's have... mostly ruled by the Turks these days. Yeah. Yeah, most... The single Kievan core still alive in uh, Russia. Um, are you guys good to unpause, by the way? Absolutely. Yes. Yes. So I've now created um, Cambodian South Chile. Nice. Uh, blessed, blessed or cursed? Or both? Okay, I'm pausing one, two, three. Possibly like four, a, depending on It's like a reverse vacation home for you. You know, you're so used um, to the hot and humid <laughs> jungle that... Uh... Absolutely. That's a very good point. Yeah. All right, you filthy British. Time for you to leave. How's it going over there, Hobo? Um, well, it sounds like you just saw the whole British leader finally way. died, and now I've got a new leader who is also a 0 three, three. <laughs> oh. Amazing. Oh, wow, they just retreated to a territory nearby. I could have stack wiped them. But uh, it's going well. There was Russia preparing to attack Poland, rip Poland. There was a little bit of rough, rough time temporarily, but... Oh, you know what the funny thing that happened is? The guy who died was actually my heir. So my leader is 72 and he outlived his heir. Oh. Which is just classic right there. You ain't blocking the street this easy, lad. And the nice thing with uh, you controlling uh, Kaweskwar is that you can now blockade the Straits of Magellan forever uh, without any problems, Daft. Oh, okay. I wasn't even thinking of that at the time. But... Well, it's very useful. That's good. Uh, Anx says the exact same thing, so the three of us all have colonies in that region now. Yay for... Uh... Strategic cooperation, something. Yes, something. I guess. All a cooperation. I, I've been having a fun time watching you chase around those Russian armies. I imagine that Russia did not have very much left by the time you came at them. What was their manpower that's, like? That's two fifty. 
the troops, I think. Oh, yeah, I yeah, got they, it. Yeah. They had they had about ninety thousand left when I was finished with them. Yeah. Uh, okay, clan states. So, if I call it first, will they get the call? Yes. Okay, then I think actually we'll take a little less wait, here. Wait, 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 wait. For the first territory. And nothing else. Um, I don't actually recall. You know, normally on client stage, I just feed them uncored land, so I don't a hundred percent know. I would assume so, in the same way that if you give land to your vassals, I believe they get the core instead. I could also just like say fuck it and do it. Um, do I need a core in order to client state? No, I don't believe so. I mean, once you take the land, uh, you know, I'll you'll just take one less core and I'll go one hundred percent just for the just for, just to be safe. By the way, the fact that Iceland owns a territory on Norway because it was yeah, it just Norway. forced Icelandic independence, and that happened. Yeah, just it feels weird. Yeah, it's pretty funny. Just to this. So let's see. Aggressive expansion, everyone hates me, I don't care. I said the peace offer, I'm going to unpause. Oh, it doesn't have to, okay. So wait a little bit, I'll see if I can climb state immediately. Um, it's on a diplomacy, right? Uh, no, it's just on the territory itself. Okay, so... That will, that will be where their capital will be. Okay, so... Oh, oh I, I just know the Japanese Russia. Wait, oh, wow. Can I create uh, all sorry. these companies? God damn it. Okay, uh, so let's see. If I can oh, create this. Okay. Uh, uh, interesting. I can create Sweden? Does that count? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, so I can make... make Finland, no, because they, 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 they just barely countries. managed to... Um, to do something about that. Defense. So do we just do Sweden yeah, and instead of Finland here? I think we do that. Yeah, all of that land would be Russian separatists instead of Finnish. Cause... And this will also give you an opportunity to go and fight Prussia. That could be fun. Um, yeah, I, I, I entirely forgot, even though I complained about it last campaign. I just you force feed. Like, like do, they have, do they have to want the prominence in order for me, for me to grant it? No. Uh, for your vassal, no. Okay, then I will just completely ruin Sweden with all extension here and keep my troops there. Yes. Cool. Okay, this will take a while. Just a moment. Uh, do you need to be paused while you do it? Uh, you could also make Novgorod up there. Oh, okay. It's, it's Sweden now. Well, he could also make Novgorod. Like, he's suggesting you can make two different... Okay, now you can't. Yeah. Oh, extension 55, 58, blah, blah, blah. This will look shit for a while. Onega, 71. Those are kind of bad. Okay, so I need to connect that cargo pole or Soraka. Yeah. Uh, I'll name Get Roven Yemi. And. Pirkanma and Tavastrand. See a chicken. I can think I just connected. I can. Uh... That they can't. Okay. So, are you guys fancying a uh, another Indian fight? I personally can't fight for a while because I've completely okay. rinsed my uh, both my sailors and my manpower. I've invested quite heavily in buildings to give count to that, but it's going to take time to rebuild. <laughs> so right. I'm going to sit down. I think for the rest of the session and clean them out. 
Yeah, I'm going to... Well, I don't know how much longer I'll be in Britain, but... But the thing is, I need to wait for my manpower to recharge, because I have a quest to get at 75% manpower, and I'd like to get that. Because it would give me an awesome military advisor. Okay, are you done next? Yes. Okay, shall we unpause? Yes. Okay, well, you're the one who paused. I will unpause. Russia is no longer a valid rival for Tang. Yes, I'm here. I lost 16 heavy ships in that second battle. I think I even lost my uh, flagship. That may have been an event that I entirely skipped by, just casually losing my flagship. If I call it first, will it get will, will they get the course when I switch? When I get it? Should do yes. I'll just call it. I have not clue. I meant to ask you guys if you've been following the Ukraine war, as I've been pretty much glued to it since it broke out. I've on been following Thursday. it, but I've been aiming to not like follow every single update exactly as everything yeah. comes out, just because there's a bunch yeah. of frantic stuff, a bunch of stuff that's kind of obvious propaganda one way or the other. Yeah, yeah. I've been uh, I've been following certain things on Twitter for pretty much the first time because I never really used Twitter, but. In, uh, in this situation, I find it quite useful for getting little snippets of information and uh, ended up on there's a, a Reddit page which has a load of combat footage from Ukraine and I don't know, uh, maybe I shouldn't be looking at it, but I just find myself fascinated and, you know, wanting to know what's happening. Well, well there hasn't it's... been a, really a war of this scale that had a... Uh... Between countries that border each other, I see. Thing. Yeah, I mean that, that's part of it for sure. It's like you know, the first full-on, full-scale modern war that we've we've had in the post-Cold War era, if not even earlier than that. So yeah, I I'm, I'm kind of conflicted about looking at these the pictures and videos because. There's almost something voyeuristic about it. Um, well, there is, there is definitely, uh, like, right. an aspect of that, but I think there's also, like, hey, you know, trying to trying to be informed, and, you know, visuals are a yeah. pretty good way of understanding something that is happening. For sure, yeah. And it's, uh, oh, it's, it's crazy. It's, it's, I mean, from, from what I've seen, you know, the Ukrainians are definitely taking losses, because we've seen pictures of their, their vehicles destroyed, their plane shot down, but... There's so many videos and pictures of Russian equipment destroyed as well. Um, yeah. It uh, is crazy how... There's a couple of ways it could go, really. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't even want to get into speculation of that. I mean, one, one scenario is... Well, I guess I will speculate. One, one scenario is... They do do to Kiev what they did to Grozny back in the uh, the early two thousands, late nineties, which would be absolutely horrific. City of three million people. Yeah. You'd like to think that uh, Putin wouldn't do that, but given that he started the war in the first place, which was and pretty crazy. He, he's yeah. operating under the like, like he's focused on basically maintaining internal power within Russia and saw this as the opportunity. That's my take on the reason for this. Mm. There's Which also is absolutely the insane. Yeah. Being worried about uh, Ukraine slipping out of uh, the Russian orbit, which it had fairly Which, comfortably yeah. previously. 
Oh, Ottomans just formed hegemony. Oh, man. Oh, my God. That's... <laughs> Oh my That's... goodness, they, they have one million soldiers. They just hit one million. Jesus. <laughs> They're also beating up Russia now. That actually might, might work out because in, if they take like the, the Ukraine, Ukraine area, I can fulfill my dream here. Of liberating Ukraine from the Ottomans. Yeah. I, uh, if, if pushed, I could probably raise about 250,000 troops right now. Uh, that's, that's my limit. I am at... I don't really know, honestly. Technically, actually, I would be... Once my manpower recovers, I could have 420 units. I'm sort of annoyed so, yeah. that I bled so hard to wreck Russia, but then Japan and Ottomans just came and it's like, well, hey, now that you've, now that you've knocked them off for the oh. first time. But uh, so it goes. I'm okay with, uh, with throwing the first punch in this. Hello, what's that? Hello, hello, what's all this then? Faros is defending against Persia. Ah, uh, oh. Sorry, Anks, I wasn't paying attention at all, but I've just noticed you've created Sweden, even though Sweden's kind of Finland. Well, I, I mean, I'm, I'm from literally the other side of the world in 1786. Also, I knew that Sweden in this area had not released it. <laughs> <laughs> also, uh, Denmark is Hamburg. Yes, as you've seen, uh, uh, parts of a, of a Denmark Hamburg has this become... This powerfully uh, cursed Scandinavia. <laughs> <laughs> not just cursed, but powerfully cursed. Yes. Does anyone need money, by the way? No, uh, I'm money. completely fine. I have uh, stonks, as they say. Stonks, as the kids say. Not as much as I had when I was in England, but yeah. I'm guessing China is probably the, the richest uh, country. Tang, I've been I mean. Tang using density. a lot of my money. I mean, my what is my total income? My total Tang's income not, is over a thousand. Sure. It's just peaked past a thousand. Holy heck. Uh, wow. That's so what? I'm making 150 ish. Well, that's my total income before expenses. Oh, all right, yeah. Although my bef after expenses, it's still four hundred and sixty-five. <laughs> okay, yeah. So I'm well. My total income is about five hundred and fifty. I think on a vesselized Iceland. Oh, um, it's honestly wow. just a. <laughs> Uh, like it's, it's honestly, it's it's literally just to uh, to to ensure safety. I know it sounds insane, but it's it's um. Iceland is has four thousand troops at this stage, and to ensure peace and stability in the region. Yes. That's like a, a catch-all phrase that you can use for for any military exercise. No operation. I had to conquer the whole country to ensure peace and stability in the region. I had to. Yes. So, Japanese Iceland. I guess it makes sense because you, you've already got Japanese. Oh no, it's British Green, Greenland. Okay. Uh, I, yeah. So the map's a bit confusing because it's all it's all red. I was confused a bit. Yeah. Okay. I see the Japanese sphere doesn't quite expand that far into north eastern America. So, uh, are you guys got to finish up sometime soon? Because I yes. should. Probably get to bed at some point.
Yeah. Um, at this point, I'm just kind of a relaxed war against the British because all they really oh, have. Oh right, left. Yes. you're still fighting over there. Okay. And yeah. I'm about oh, all to I... declare war on Delhi and Deccan. Yeah, this war is perfectly fine. It's not, like, stressful. I'm just sieging enough stuff to take what I want. Their army's gone. Well, I'm happy to play on for a bit if you think you might get a peace settlement quite soon. Yeah, to me it's just I want to... Uh, what I want to remember to do here is uh, just do the different diplomatic things with Iceland. While I remember it. Um, so, you know, for mm. maximum relations. A hundred and forty, a hundred and forty-six reasons. Not too much longer on my end. <laughs> I found the province angst. <laughs> Remember the joke that is the uh, r terrible, terrible reference I told you? Uh, manga. Yes. Yes, I conquered it shortly after you sold it. So, um, that was great. The, the real question is, does Daft and uh, Chaos know about it? Yep. Probably not. The uh, special Easter egg if you conquer a certain territory as Japan? No, I've got no idea. I'm, a, I'm aware of the one you're speaking of. Well, I suppose I could read it for Daft. Why don't you start up the reading circle, my friend? I am just also skaboop. Behold! <laughs> Screw you, Britain! Oof. Oh, that is painful to look at. That's uh, stripey right there. All right, let's well, go. Wessex is going to go to Cornwall. Uh, obviously, the rest of Ireland is going to go to Ulster. Oh, I like Wales as a thing, actually, and uh, and Cornwall. Wow. I just need to start conversions. Wow, this is such a cursed Northern Europe. <laughs> it is. Okay. Okay, so Ready? we've got Russians, Russian Scandinavia, Sweden in Finland, uh, Japan in Finnmark, uh, Prussian, Sweden, Hamburg is Denmark, as you said. Uh, uh, British Isles are all kinds of pain right now. And I call it the aristocrats. Yep. It'll it'll look better in a few years, promise. <laughs> well, at least Wales is there, which is great, and Iceland is a vassal of Japan. Well, uh, I just need two oh. more ticks for my stuff to be done. Okay, I will unpause. Uh, take not ticks, but uh, it, it doesn't make sorry. Uh, yeah. Just every time I send something to Iceland, it takes like three months to get back. Yeah, of course. Yeah. All right. Let's unpause. Yeah, I'm. I'm good to play for a few moments until uh, until we get Daft. a good stopping point. So Daft. Yo. Legends speak of a Japanese artist who fled to a distant land after incurring the wrath of the emperor. He brought with him his most prized possessions: picture books chronicling the history of a higher school where the most legendary samurai of his age were educated. We believe that this lost cultural treasure lies hidden somewhere in the jungles of Africa. This event only fires if you take the province of Manga as Japan. Ah, oh, okay, I see. <laughs> oh, that's good. What about says Manga, by the way? Uh, we can search it. Uh, hit F um, for find, and then type it in, and you'll see. Press F to pay respects. It's um, next to Chad. Yep, it is next to Lake Chad. <laughs> What did Ottomans take from Russia? Even? Uh, I can't even see it. So the, the British have a landlocked colony in the middle of Africa. How does that work? 
Uh, uh, that's... It, used to, it used to not be landlocked. Yeah, I took the, the territory from them. I feel like it was, should maybe be some kind of mechanic in the game where if a uh, you know, colonial territory is separated from its mother country, it, it might kind of mutate into something else and break break contact with its mother country because yeah I guess you could maybe as a stretch you could say they're in communication and trading via the uh, whichever river that is in the I don't know no, it's not the Congo River um, it flowing through Nigeria there could be rivers that they're using but yeah Anyway, that, that's an interesting Easter egg. I was not aware of that. But I like it. Yeah, it's it's right up there with uh, Aragon having to conquer Saruhan and uh, becoming the king of Gondor. Oh, wow. Also, apparently, if you turn debug mode on, there is a territory named Ganja in, uh, well, I think it's differently named now that it's owned by Tibet, but there is a territory named Ganja, and its province ID is 420. <laughs> oh god, I can make trade companies in Europe. <laughs> That's a second year 13 moment right there. Yeah, I, I do really enjoy that they added the ability to put trade com to put trade stuff everywhere. And you can easily break it too because if I look at subcontinents, uh for example, as the Ottomans, if your capital is over in, uh, you know, Constantinople, you could conquer Persia and give all of that to a to a trade company, because technically Asia, even though you have land access to it. So what I didn't realize when drawing up the new borders is that uh, I may or may not have gone to 167% overextension. Ooh. These are rookie numbers. And I mean, nothing it be, uh, it's just a matter of uh, manpower and money. Here, remedy. Yeah, control. and I am China. I don't have a problem with manpower. <laughs> I've gone quantity ideas and taken the extra manpower as the first one, so my manpower cap's now 632,000. Wow. I passed off done, by the way, so I'm ready to, uh, whenever you fly. Yeah, I'm, I'm good to finish up whenever you guys are. Uh, you know, I, I don't think I have the energy to start another major war right. session. The... I'm actually starting to get manpower and sailors back, so... Uh, yeah, if you wanted to hold out a bit on that war against Daikon, uh, Chaos might be able to help next session. If you need me to, that is... Um... Oh, I figure you could expand your Coromandel colony. That would be quite nice, actually. You could get a few more provinces down there. Honestly, and, what I uh, could do is I could also declare the war and then call you in later, after I've taken the first couple of waves. Hmm. And also, have a look at that beautiful expansion of Tibetan culture all over the place. How the fuck is Prussia losing to Poland? Oh, Bohemia. Oh my god, I guess the whole Roman... Yeah, I guess. I honestly can always with them. Yeah, they they will win. 
Ooh, yeah, just casual 60,000 Englishmen. They're particularly angry. Yeah, I'm pretty much just on rebel stomping duty right now, so I guess I'm ready to go whenever. Oh, it's oh. rebel stomping day. Hey, Tibet, do you want to be that? hired for something? For what? <laughs> you want to be hired for hired to stomp out revolutionaries? <laughs> Where? <laughs> oh yeah, I see. Um, okay, yeah. Uh, I. I didn't expect that. Yeah, I'll... So I don't forget. Oh, that was like eight pop-ups. Jesus Christ. Here, you're hired. <laughs> Oh, actually, with that, I uh, eclipsed Chang, I think. Oh, that's because of Netherlands. Just in development, you're still earning much more money than I am. You know, I look away from Ireland for five seconds, and, uh... They it... start doing Irish things. Yeah. Throwing Molotovs on everything. Every, every Molotov, single Irish... classic Irish, uh... Actually, classic yeah, it's like... Right you, there. You it's actually... A Molotov. Oh, <laughs> Mac yeah. oh, oh. oh my god, it's also English separatists. You might win that exchange. Oh no. Oh, god. oh yeah, they... they they, they walked on that. I was preparing. Why don't you just win it anyways? Yeah, but I also need to go down to deal with uh, zealots that popped up on the land I was going to give to Cornwall, of course. Thanks. Oh, interesting. Persia just went to war with Delhi. Mekashiko is preparing to attack Portuguese Meki. Mikishiko. Oh, this is... Hmm. Alright. I just force him to down now. Game, please. Stop for five seconds. Uh, are you guys good to pause here, or...? This is a good spot for me. I'm, I'm about good, to start crushing the rebels in uh, Hobo's territory. You can see that Hobo is momentarily having fun. Uh, yeah, that was a lot more than I expected. A lot more fun than he would have ever wanted. Uh, the, uh, um, like, 70,000 rebels in Ireland, 70, 70,000 pounds of fun. Yeah. <laughs> no, why don't you look at... China. That's the problem. Uh oh. Oh holy heck. That's <laughs> like five hundred thousand so yeah, if not more. Yeah, there's what I've been panicking about. I I can probably help you with that. Um but maybe oh, we should leave that next session. Oh I see. On yeah, like I see. It's about it some uh, peacekeepers. Yeah, I'm just trying to do the old stabilization. Real quick. I have Weasel Stomping Day, the song by Weird Al Yankovic stuck in my head for some reason. <laughs> it's tradition that makes it okay. Wait, oh. 
9,000 over there in Portugal as well. I'm just trying to make sure that I get the op the uh, less obvious ones. No question, Cornwall. Can I give you doors? Yes, I can. Okay, because I've already converted that. Like the islands, I'd probably forget. Leon Confucianizing uh, Catholic, I am trying to do my best to convert the land before I give it away, which has its own problems. Okay. Biggest issues resolved, I think, as more pop up, but that's in a more reasonable location. Hey, are, is everyone else ready? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I'm just in the middle of the battle, but it doesn't really matter. Yeah, let's just click um, this if, if I can actually just finish up this battle so that I can split my gigantic army in half. Yeah, of course. I'm just... I'm... I've cleared out the worst, so I don't want to hold down staff yeah, absolutely. too much yeah. longer. This is, a, this is a good spot for me. Thanks. I like how Persia's kind of reappeared on the map. Uh, oh, Persia never disappeared. Persia's always been there. Sorry, I don't mean disappeared, but if, if I'm wrong correctly, it, it was a bit smaller than that before. Well, they were just in of... north of Persia, and they were stuck yeah. as just that for a long time. Alright, I'm fighting the enemy in Beijing right now. Alright. And now all that's left of the Chinese revolutionaries are those guys up in Bordos. Alright. Are you all set, Angst? Yep. Okay. Yep, this is a good spot to save. Yep, I got a lot of Anglican territories to convert, and they are territories, so they're going to take a little bit more time, but oh well. I don't understand how the fuck P uh, Prussia is losing as well. Alright, I'm going to just wait till it ticks over to 1790. Sounds good, and then we'll save that. Yep. Ah uh, yes, that time the Tibetan troops just stamped out the liberty desires of all of those uh, Chinese rebels. <laughs> Key historical moments. We'll be in ho home in time for Christmas. Of course. And we celebrate Christmas here. Also, of course. Of uh, also, of course. Save this as save her there, and I'll grab yeah. the screenshots. By the way, fun fact: um, apparently, British territories get renamed to Cornish names. Oh, cool! That's cool. Kierno. nice. The ancients, ancients, uh, native British names. The ancient language that has only not been around for like three hundred years. Indeed. Yeah, because if I look... Uh... 
1790. Oh, is that Portsmouth? I think that's what Portsmouth is now, isn't it? Um, no, um, Portsmouth is in Hampshire, isn't it? Hampshire, yeah. Oh, what's I'm the territory next to it? Durotrigi. Durotrigia. I don't remember what that was originally. Dev uh, oh, that's not Devon. No, that's, yeah, Devon's the next one over. Mm. Um, but yeah, uh, Portsmouth is uh, it's pretty much where the the city is in Hampshire. It's uh, just north of the island. Well, we will south. see. Because it would take until May. We'll see what that becomes uh, next time. Alright. So, mm. um, I'd like to go with a great big war with the goal of just absolutely mauling Delhi. Save again, by the way. Oh, save uh, again. Have... Yes, sure. yes. And conveniently, we've also just finished off the Tang Rebellion. Yeah, that was more than I expected. But while I do have some rebellions, they are significantly more minor and more able to be dealt with. I have a couple stacks I need to stomp, and a couple more that will probably pop up, but that's it's fine. And uh, that beautiful, beautiful mass of Tibetan culture. If it wasn't oh, so yeah, messy. Wasn't <laughs> I mean, I'm just converting where it's cheap to convert. How do yeah. you actually do the, the cultural conversion oh, again? Uh, you click on the production interface, click change culture, and then you can look at all the places where you can culture convert. Uh, okay. Or you're like me, who does it territory by territory. Because I still remember doing this stuff before the production interface was... That's true, yes. Yeah. You can also do it manually on a territory by clicking on the culture and then clicking change culture. That's Mumble, cool. Rumble back in my day. So I, um, I thought you had to use colonists. I think maybe that's an old mechanic of. I'm not sure. After yeah. you'd sent so many colonists, they changed your culture, and then you could use the colonists to on developed provinces just to culturally convert them. I might actually be thinking of European of stars too there, which is Probably. going back a couple of it iterations. That's cool. All right, so guys, I think what we do is we fight. So, Daft, when would you like mm. to fight against the Indians? Um, probably quite early in the next session because so I've actually al already rebuilt sixty thousand manpower and twenty-five thousand sailors. So, I'm as soon as my troops make it back to the border, I'm going to declare war on Delhi, and at the mm. moment. Delhi is at war and allied with Fars, Dekan, and Sindh. Mm -hmm. So Fars is absolutely getting mauled by Persia right now, so I'm not worried about that. Delhi is distracted. Uh, mm -hmm. So I'm just going to take out Delhi and then Dekan and try to 100% them. And then once we're finished fighting that war, I think I'd like all of us to like bring the fight to the Ottomans. Well, you find that that should be fun. Like, uh, I, I am about ten percent less than their troops. This should be doable. Well, yeah, I've yeah, got I'm, I've I'm got forty percent of their troops, and I'll also be the front line against the Ottomans. Yeah, they have just a casual fourteen hundred force limit. <laughs> yeah, they went for. Uh... My force limit is sadly only seven uh, fifty. Yes, yeah. I mean, me and Japan have the manpower pools and men and uh, force limits to be the brunt, I think. Sorry, who gets the brunt? Me? Me and Japan have over 500,000 manpower. Nice. So we'll probably be able to be the front I've of got, the battle. I've got a peak yeah. of 308,000, and it's currently uh, sitting at 104 because I have raised a ton of troops. Um, mostly, I can't smash them in, in Navy because of the whole galley thing, and uh, I can't get to them, <laughs> I think. Uh, 
Or you just have to go, like, just march through to bed or something, I don't know. Um, yeah. I'm yeah. sort of amused by how the top great power has sort of bounced around a little bit between Japan, Tang, and Tibet in the last little bit. Mm. Yeah. For me, what, I, what I'm going to do over here is uh, slowly convert these lands and shift, the, shift their hands. Um, I'm still going to keep some British land, I think. I'm going to keep the Midlands and uh, Northern England because uh, I... I want to try and tributary these people, but I know if I do, it'll just turn into a Thunderdome, so I'm only tributarying some of them, like Scotland. Mm. I'll probably tributary uh, Cornwall once I give them all of Wessex. But uh, Ireland and Wales will remain a little bit closer. Yeah. First thing I'll do next session, I, need, I want the Panama Canal. Um... So, as soon as my France thing goes over, I'll just invade France and try to get that. Yeah, uh, that was... The weird thing is that Colonial Colombia goes you know, all the way to uh, where it actually is. Yeah, I just couldn't get it because Dutch I hadn't um, taken annexed the Dutch yet, and... And uh, in the way of them drawing a direct line. No, actually, the territory was taken, but I can't flip the vessels of my vessels, so to say. One mm. thing that I like about the Tibet that I've done is that all of the growth is like in areas where you could sort of imagine Tibet being, and it doesn't feel too ridiculous. Yeah, it's like yeah. they just sort yeah. of expanded in through Central Asia. Then they fi started fighting the Russians in Central Asia, started fighting the Indians. But I haven't. With the exception of the Falkland Islands and Galapagos, which makes sense entirely in the, like, support of operations. Well, uh, the important part is that Tibet wins the uh, font war. I think you do, yeah. I mean, I think Tibet and Japan are both maxed out. Hmm. Yeah, the thing about Japan is um, their own development is only 2535, but then it's almost 1700 from all of, all of the colonial nations, so they mm. take first spot. Yeah, I, I, yeah, randomly getting war with Holland was pretty cool. Like, Holland was still part of the whole Roman Empire, so it was just a colonial war that lifted us like that. Ah. joining the Holy Roman Empire? I don't think I can. I... <laughs> it would be funny, though. Yeah. I did actually deliberate whether I should remove the Holy Roman Empire provinces, but I was like, eh, no. I I, I do kind of like the idea of like a complex nonsense system there. Um, mm -hmm. Like, because I, I know this timeline is completely cursed, but uh, are there some are you kidding? Ni nice detail Name to... Name uh, one thing in this timeline that's cursed. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually it's one of those things where you ask me and I get like some overwhelmed with things that I can't really answer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you have to look at this and be like, okay, obviously the fact that Poland is conquering southern Sweden from the Prussians, I think that's like liberty for Poland. I say. Yeah. Also, by the way, I made Shin uh, I made Finland, Sweden, Shinto. Well, of course you did. Yeah, I imagine so they're very happy about that. They were not happy yet initially, but then I gave them a lot of land. Indiana. So now they're like, I oh god, I, I, oh. <laughs> they're, they're, my my uh, missionaries have been so busy converting that there's still lands that I colonized a hundred years ago. They're just still fetishes. I actually almost got one hundred percent, but after like Portuguese Mexico. Then I, I will not be able to make it before the end of the game. Well, um, you've got 30 years left, so it's one long session or two short sessions left. Yeah. I'm going to guess thought, it's going to be so... two because we've kind of been going slower and slower as the game's gone on. Yeah. Just remember. I, I guess we'll see. It depends, it depends how many more we're going to do, I guess. <laughs> so, so here's the thought um, Japan has territory in Europe. 
and so does Tang. Um, I'm wondering if we should try to get some Cambodian territory in Europe and some Tibetan territory. That could be fun. Like the France yeah, thing yeah. I'm doing, that by the way, uh, I'm only taking, I don't plan to take more France, uh, basically. I've got the English channel, I don't care about anything else, um, so we could get you like a Cambodian Aquitaine or something. <laughs> Um, I would like that, yeah. <laughs> yeah let's see. So, my broad grand strategy stuff, we've got Delhi. I'm going to just try to body them early on. I've been building up my fortresses elsewhere, so it's going to be hard for the enemy to push into my territory because I've got my star forts just sitting there waiting for them to sort of charge in. So I'm guys, to... sorry, I sorry to interrupt. I I should probably get to bed at this point. But right. uh, yeah, thank you guys for the games. Right. Yeah, good. thank you guys. GG. I mean, don't let me stop you, but I'm I'm just gonna head off. I'll disconnect from call. All right, catch you later. Uh, yeah, good night. You know what I think would be perfect? I what? think a nice Cambodian Greece. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> Cambodian Greece is something I was thinking. Of. I was also thinking of a. Uh, uh, Cambodia, or Can Cro Cro Cambodia, Croatian Cambodia. I'm trying to trying to make it work. You have to just check something. Okay, oh, good. Yeah. Uh, can do you have it? Okay, I'll, I'll open GIMP because I want to check something oh, with the colors. he should have Campania. He should have Campania in, in Italy. Campo Campania, Cambodia. Yeah. Yeah, if you see Campania, that can be Camba Cambania. Yeah, and he could even make... Uh... Cambrabria? No, I was going to say he could make uh, Reform Napoli. Yeah. Uh, is it just me, or is... Why does England have, like, Hungarian and Slovenian territory, I think it is? Uh, at one point, they got a personal union over Croatia, annexed them, and then they lost it. Yep. Okay. Uh, that's, that's, that is, uh... Like, okay, so honestly, like, it's just like the thing is that, uh... Like honestly, Hamburg Jutland isn't insane. Um, yeah, like Hanseatic stuff. Is, this is just like the southern North Germanics get eaten up by the northwest Germanics. Yeah, I'm I'm really serious when I say everything wrong in Europe was because of us. I disagree. Uh, I totally <laughs> disagree. This happened on its own. Like. <laughs> Prussia, this Prussia, and Russia fighting up Scandinavia. That was not our fault. We did everything we could like to mess up Russia. Russia, still Russia was fighting Sweden a lot. I mean, at least it, like geographically, eesh, I don't know. Um, that's it. Like after getting Iceland, it kind of makes sense. Like I have the the North Sea em Empire thing going on at this point. That you do. I mean. I have the, yeah. the great big continental empire and the fleet so small that I struggle to have enough sailors because I can, I've can. i got a sailor cap of 7,000. <laughs> I've actually run a lot of sailors a lot in this campaign just because of that stupid transporting things across the Pacific and then around. Like either I have to sail all the way fucking... I, I, use, I use naval bases, but it's like, it's like the micro. So getting things either around the Horn of Africa or around amid the Americas to land in fucking Normandy, like, it's, uh, I want that Panama Canal so much. That, I, that's, that's honestly my priority, because I've, I've... Well, you better honestly, it because also, you're gonna not have enough time to build it if you don't get it soon. Yeah, I know, I know, that's, I literally started moving my troops when we ended the session. Alright. Um, yeah. That's it, I have to wait for the white piece, but, um... Other than, uh, making... Confucian Morocco and confusing everyone. Um, I don't really have anything that I could potentially do at this point. It's mostly just supportive and uh, 
uniting Ireland, uniting Cornwall in West